Hello again everyone and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today's video is going to be on encrypting your data. In our last video we split up our database into a back-end and a front-end database where the front-end was housing our user interface and the back-end has all of our data. Well now we need to take the important step of encrypting that back-end file so that no one can just go ahead and open up that file and start tinkering around with our data. We need to make sure that the only access that anyone has to that back-end file is through the user interface that we're going to be distributing out to the workstations. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to password encrypt our back end database file. So let's go ahead and hop out of our PowerPoint presentation here. Now, the first thing I want to caution you against is the mistake that a lot of people make of trying to just double click and open up the back end file. When you're password encrypting a file, you actually need to open it up in exclusive mode. So that means a couple of things. First of all, no one else can be accessing this file. If you recall, we had that LACCDB file that was, uh, that was created here when somebody else was in our backend file. We need to make sure that no one is in the backend file at the time that we're going to be doing this. Okay? So we need to make sure that everybody is off of our, uh, off of our database application. Then you're going to go ahead and open up access directly. Do not open it up through double clicking the file. We need to just open up so that we get to the home screen of access here. Now the next step that we need to take is to open other files. Notice that I am not using the recents over here, any of the recent files to open up my backend. I need to select open other files, okay? And then once again, we get all of these recents here. I need to avoid that. Do not use the recent side over here with all those files that have been recently opened. You don't wanna do that. Instead, you need to come over here and select computer. And then once again, I'm going to avoid recent folders, and I'm just going to select the Browse button. Now, the reason why I've avoided all of those recents, uh, all those recent lists, is because I need this Open File dialog window to come up. Okay? And from here, I'm going to go ahead and go to my C drive and go to my database folder. Now, and you're welcome to uh, go, obviously, out to the shared folder if you're housing your backend file out on a share on the network. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my local disk here, and I'm going to select the backend file. Now, do not just click open. Instead, you're going to click on this arrow that points down, and you're going to select open exclusive. Okay? This is that very important, crucial step that you must take. You need to open it up in exclusive mode. And again, the only way to do that is if you get this open file dialog window here. Okay? So open exclusive, and now we have exclusive rights to this database, and no one else is going to be able to get into it while we're doing this. But luckily, this doesn't take much time. All you're going to have to do is go up here to file. You're going to go to encrypt with password. And just in case you don't know, it's under this info option here. You'll see encrypt with password. So I'm going to go ahead and encrypt with a password. And it's going to give me this little error message. or Well, it's not really an error message. It's just a little warning that says that there's a different type of lock. Uh, it can't do a particular type of locking, which is perfectly fine. Access will handle all of that for us. And now our backend file that houses our data has been locked. And the only way to get access to it is if somebody has the password. Okay? Notice they'll get prompted right away for the password. Okay? And those of you that are savvy database uh, users already, you'll know you can hold the shift key down. Well, even if I hold the shift key down and try to open it up, you'll see I'm still going to get prompted for that password. It's unavoidable. Okay? All right, so that has now encrypted our back end, but what about the front end? Well, right now, if I go to my front end file that I stored on my local computer here, and I try to open it up, and let's say I try to open up the table, I'm going to get not a valid password. That's because I did not store the password when I linked up these tables. So I need to go ahead and do this process over again. But I can't just go up to external data and go to the link table manager because I don't get any options to, uh, to, to give a password here. So unfortunately, the only way to do this is to actually delete all of the tables. I'm just going to highlight all of the linked tables that go to that file. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Okay. So now I can go up to external data 
and I'm going to select under import and link there is this access button so I'm going to import access database and now I'm going to go browse to my file and make sure again that you're using the network drive location okay so I'm using that network folder uh, you know that network folder where that file is located not the local uh, C drive All right. the next thing to make sure you do is select link to the data source by creating a linked table you need to select this instead of the import because if you select import on accident that's just gonna bring over your tables and put them back into your front end which is kinda counter to the whole point right you only want to create the, a link to those tables and not bring them over with their data so let's go ahead and click OK now and now we get prompted for that password that we created before. So probably want to go ahead and write down that password somewhere, keep it safe, maybe hand it to your network administrator so that they have access to it and they can jot it down in their notes. Because uh, you never know, sometimes you know you lock those databases, you forget the password, and then everybody's screwed because no one can get into it. Okay, now. I'm going to select just those tables that I have created. Notice that there are these msys tables. You do not want to select any of those. You need to only select those user tables that you created. So make sure you're make sure you're selecting the correct tables. Then I'm going to click OK, and it's going to go ahead and link all of my tables for me. So now I've got the password protected back end and my front end is now using that password to open up my tables all right so we've set up properly that relationship we've we've encrypted that back end our front end now successfully is linked to that back end using that password which is exactly what we need now there's one last step we need to take remember this is this front end file that's sitting out here on my network drive it's still that old uh, that old read only version so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it here it's gonna ask me for administrative permissions I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and if you need to you may need to contact your administrator to have him grant you access to go ahead and delete that file but just make sure you get rid of that front end file okay and now I'm gonna take that file that's on my local computer and I'm gonna copy it and put it out there on my database folder and once again I need to go through and set those permissions on it again to make sure that it's read-only so I'm gonna go under the properties of course for the file I'm gonna go to the security tab go to the advanced button change the permissions uncheck the include inheritable permissions select remove and once again no users are on it so we need to add users and we're just gonna go ahead and add users the users group go ahead and click OK temporarily we're just gonna grant full control and apply it OK OK now I'm gonna select the users group click on the edit button and I'm gonna unselect all of these but I'm gonna leave read is the only one checked apply it click OK and click OK and now my front end file is read only once again and this is the one that we're going to want to distribute out to our users okay so uh, if you have forgotten that whole process of how to set those security permissions I recommend you watch my video again on how to split up the back end and front end databases so that you can go ahead and do that security alright so if you guys have any questions about how to lock down and encrypt that back end file uh, just let me know. Feel free to put a comment down below this video, and I will see you in the next video.